Hi, my name's Daniel Head. I'm here with uh, Francois Chadwick from Uber. Francois, it's been 20 years since we worked together. We've uh, got a little bit greyer. A lot greyer. A lot greyer. A lot greyer. Um, and a lot's happened in that time. Um, I'm going to avoid diving straight into questions about digital tax straight away, but just give us a bit of an idea of your role and what you're covering, because it's not just transfer pricing. You have a, a day job that's far wider than that. Yeah, so I had a the global tax department, which includes all of compliance as well. We have about 170 people worldwide within my group and uh, covers everything from tax controversy, tax audits, tax compliance, tax filings. And obviously now, although you don't want to ask the question, but <laughs> the digital economy and what that means for us. And obviously that is a big thing for us as the, uh, the relevant bodies are looking at trying to tax different uh, business models. Yeah. Yeah, and we've we've talked a lot about that today in the in the TP Mind sessions, and um, the uncertainty seems to be the, the the biggest issue I think for for businesses like yourself. So, you know, how how are you managing that? How are you managing that uncertainty and that risk, and and I suppose helping your stakeholders as well in in that uncertainty. Yeah, so uh, obviously the first thing you do is you make sure that uh, everybody's in the canoe with you as you're going down the river. So. I inform my C-suite regularly, my, the audit committee and the board regularly as to what's going on. Um, but the thing they ask for is, that all sounds very good, Francois, but can you give us a more detailed and uh, specific picture as to how this is going to play out? And there, therein lies the difficulty. There is no yeah. certainty. Yeah. So it's a lot of education, a lot of information. And really then on uh, the dealing with the relevant bodies, it's all about trying to... Uh, discussing with them what your business model actually does and how it is. And frankly, I don't think a lot of them actually truly understand our current business model. Yeah, yeah. And I suppose that must be one of the hard, the biggest challenges then is is articulating to the tax authorities. And, and again, how, how do you find that? So, you know, obviously we're here in London, we're here in the UK. Do you find the UK tax authorities are, are, are more approachable and you can have those kind of discussions? Are there any tax authorities that are better than others? How do you find that dynamic? Well, I, I do feel like HMRC and HM Treasury are actually open to these discussions and we are, we are actively in various discussions with them on numerous different topics, not just transfer pricing. It could be uh, compliance for our driver population. It, there's many different things we're in discussions with uh, right now. And frankly, I prefer open dialogue yeah. as opposed yeah. to not being able to fully paint the picture and then tax authorities or uh, uh, financial finance ministers making assumptions. I'd rather have that dialogue. Yeah, understood, understood. And then any tax authorities that you're struggling to, to get that dialogue with or, or is that just, just, just varies across the... It varies across the globe. Yeah. Uh, I do feel like more and more are willing to have discussions. Yeah. Uh, there are some countries around the world that do like to jump to conclusions but we work on a principle basis and we discuss what we do and we hope that they take the standard principles and come to a correct conclusion yeah well Francois thank you very much 20 years has passed 20 years has passed man yeah it's been great, great. to see you have great a great journey back thank Good you to see you thanks thank you